Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Low. Hope you're doing well at home and enjoy your learning at home as well. In our previous weeks, we have learned how to report effects and how to report a command and how to shift back to intenses in a statement. So in today's lesson, you should be able to use the time and place words correctly in reported speech when we are reporting a statement. So in reported speech, the speaker used different time and place as the scenario has changed when the speaker finished his statement and we are reporting his or her speech later on. We need to change the time and place as well. That's our topic today. So like we said, when we report the speech set at another time and place, the scenario of the speakers has changed. So we need to change the time and the place words accordingly. Here is one example. I get a birthday present today, Anne said. Like we said, when we are reporting a speech, we need to change the pronouns, we need to change the tense, and Today's focus is the time and place. So in this speech, the time expression is today. So when we are reporting Anne's speech, the correct one should be like this. Anne said she got a birthday present that day. So besides the pronoun, I need to change it into she. The tense should be changed from present tense to past tense. So we need to change the time expression from today to that day as well in reported speech. Let's have a look at the other example. Johnny said, I am moving into the apartment here. So we need to focus on pronoun, the tense, and the time expression as well. So the correct reported speech should be like this. Johnny said he was moving into the apartment there. So pronouns, tense, and place expression. The correct one should be Johnny said he was moving into the apartment there. We changed place expression from here to there. Shall we try out? But before that, and I summarize some of the different time and place expressions here. So in direct quotation, we use now, today, tomorrow, tonight, this, yesterday, last week, these, here. But when we report the statement later on, the expression should be changed accordingly now to then, today to that day, tomorrow to next day or the following day, both are correct, tonight to that night, this, it was covered, sorry, to that, yesterday, to the date before, last week, the week before, these, those, here, to there. Maybe we can do one or two practice before you go to your worksheet. So, which sentence should be the correct reported speech here? I will see you tomorrow, he said. This is a direct statement. So when we turn this sentence into a reported speech, A, B, C, D, which one should be the correct one? Three seconds. Yeah, the correct one should be A. He said he would see me the next day. So pronoun from I to he. Tense from future tense to the past tense, will to would. 
tomorrow is the time expression. You need to change it into the next day. Now, your turn. This is the direct statement. I'm getting a new car this week, she said. Five seconds for you to think of your answer. Are you correct? She said she was getting a new car that week. So we need to change the time expression from this week to that week. So here are some tips when we are doing a report, reported statement or reported speech. First one, tense. We need to shift back tense from present to past. Present continuous tense to past continuous tense. And pronouns. We need to match the pronouns to the reporter from reporter's point of view. And tip three and four are today's focus. We need to change from a definite time to an indefinite time in reported speech. And also we need to change the place accordingly. This is your worksheet in this week. So Miss Chen is talking to the students before going to the Hong Kong Space Museum on Thursday. There's some direct speech here by Miss Chen or by students. I highlight some of the time and place expression in red here. When you are doing the reported speech, you should change those highlighted words correctly as well. Of course, you also need to pay attention to the pronouns and tense as well. I'm sure it will be easy peasy for you to finish your worksheet after the lesson. That's the end of our this lesson this week. Goodbye.